Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm taking a look at Locomotive. This is a, a demo currently available as part of the Steam Next Fest uh, for a new point-and-click game. Uh, which, in terms of story, I understand it's kind of like a comedy version of Murder on the Orient Express type thing. Uh, there's been a, a murder on a train. We are a suspect. Uh, can we actually solve the case? Let's find out. Let's play demo. Okay, just read this. Prepare to board the Roy the Royce Reyes. I would say Royce Express for an exclusive demo of this murder mystery comedy adventure. The full game will feature three playable characters, feature length story, puzzle hint system, an ambiguously European locale. <laughs> Even more jokes and puzzles. Uh, so yeah, the release date, it should be coming out before the end of the year by the look of it, so yeah. Not too far off. Let's begin, shall we? Arthur, stop your dilly-dallying. Coming, Lady Unterwald. I think that's our character. Well, Thank one of our characters. Thank you all for coming. You know me as the aging heiress of the Waldbahn Empire. But there comes a day for everyone when you know your time is up. I've long desired to leave my legacy in good hands, and after much deliberation... It looks like we're approaching a tunnel, ma'am. Ugh. I do hope it's one of mine. Be quiet, you idiots! <laughs> we don't have all day. Ahem! After much deliberation, it's my desire that the Underwald Estate be passed over in its entirety to... <laughs> Heavens Auntie, above! No! Wait, it may just be a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that tickled me. Oh. You're telling us that's how it happened, Arthur. This stinks, Bailey. It's got the unmistakable musk of guilt. Careful, Lamont. We're dealing with a lawyer here. Arthur Ackerman, attorney at law. Listen, Arthur, you're accused of murdering your own client. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, um... Ba -ba -ba -bum. <laughs> I'm warning you, I'm an ugly crier. I'm warning you, I'm an ugly crier. Yet unable to shed a single tear for your client. A sweet old lady, tragically cut down in her prime. She was 89 years old! There you are, Mr. Ackerman! Kid, are you blind? We're trying to create an atmosphere here! Just thought I'd check if our guest needs anything. Our suspect, Jimmy. And we're in the middle of an interview. Oh, how exciting! I hope you land the job, Mr. Ackerman. I'm rooting for you! Perhaps I can get a coffee for our interviewee. No. Tea. Get out, kid. <laughs> he seems nice. That damn coffee boy has thrown off the whole vibe. It's not as simple as it looks, you know. Remember the exercises, Samont. Exercises? I am confident. I have value. 
he was about to crack. I could feel it. <laughs> the speech bubble uh, moving slowly it? down the corridor. Stay there, Arthur. Sure thing. I'll be right here when you get back. <sighs> Looks like I'm chained to the desk. What do they take me for? A common criminal? Okay, so we're in control now. Let's have a look around. So I think the first thing to note is it's got full voice acting as far as I'm aware. Full voice acting throughout the game, which is pretty cool. It seemed pretty good so far for me. Um, yee, okay, so right click seems to be an interaction and left click to like pick up something. Oh, that's an interaction, it's not all... Okay. Oh, that's better. <laughs> it didn't even... Didn't even affect the line of his suit. Okay, what was this? Third place runner-up. Most improved policing award. That doesn't inspire confidence, does it? It's every bureaucrat's dream. A box of neatly organized paperwork. It's an article from Lamont and Bailey's first big case. Lumbering Flatfoot goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Soul Criminal. A petty thief at the Shoe Emporium was quickly brought to heel this morning by Lex Lamont and his partner, Justice Bailey. All right, what about this thing? There's a photo of me surrounded by a significant amount of red yarn. That's probably not a good sign. You won't catch me incriminating myself, tiny machine. <laughs> uh, even the little um, little notes on on the the sort of things that pop up are, are, are pretty fun. Like this one, it's full of trash, as I suspected. <laughs> I know things look bad, but I'm not rooting through trash just yet. It's a lamp used for interrogating suspects. I can still see the lights when I close my eyes. There's a front page story about Lady Unterwald. It's the end of the line. The Unterwald Empire came to a grisly end last night when the wealthy heiress was unexpectedly assassinated aboard her own train. Three suspects are currently held in custody awaiting questioning. There's nothing more reliable than print media. <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone who uh, came up writing for print media. That's a sad indictment. Um, cigarette. It's full of cigarette butts. I now regret never memorizing anyone's phone number. It's a bunch of guidebooks on interrogation techniques. <laughs> the chaining manual. Everything you need to know about restraining Ooh, and retaining that be your suspects. Uh, I guess we can't pick that up. What's going on here? Yeah, we got we got those things at the moment. It's a photo of a very large Lamont behind the wheel of a very small car. Looks like Lamont won an award. It's a level three in athletic prowess. I'm guessing we can't grab that very obvious key. I bet those keys would unlock these shackles. Oh, if only my arms were longer. Okay, we're gonna light switch. Hmm. Better not. I don't want to draw any unwanted attention. There's a there's a radiator thing here. I can't click on that though. So could I poke it with the newspaper? That doesn't work. The desk fan, which I've pulled out the wall, so I presume it doesn't even work anymore. Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong in that. Slightly too weak. Maybe I could funnel the airflow. Oh, okay, so do we combine the newspaper with the fan? It's nice that it's got a hint for that. <laughs> Alright. So let's try that on that.
grab the umbrella. So the key is going to be slightly... Only I could reach yeah, okay, so the, probably the umbrella is the... The animations are really good, aren't they? Even though it's sort of um, fairly low-res pixel art, <clears throat> which is done obviously on purpose. I, I think it's pretty cool, but um, even within those constraints, it's uh, the animations look pretty fun. That's taken care of, but I still need to find a way out of here. Okay, so we just try the door. I think they'd see me if I escaped that way. Yeah, small window. It's a long way down. Perhaps that dumpster could break my fall. Trot, I think they're coming back. Let's try this again, Arthur. The whole story from the top. Well, it began. As all good stories do. With a hard-boiled yet handsome detective. <laughs> with a series of gratuitous establishing shots. Chance encounter with a minor celebrity. An ambiguously European locale. The minor criminal offence. Now let's do the gratuitous establishing shots. With a series of gratuitous establishing shots. Adversary proceeding. Okay, this is the prologue. It all started on the Royce Express. Royce, yeah. The night was still young. I felt like the world was my oyster. I hope those oysters don't come back to haunt me. <laughs> okay, cool. So what was this? This way for dining carriage, casino carriage, lounge area. Ooh, I love a good brochure. <sighs> but I have other pressing matters to attend to. Is this the Dark of the North Line? Yes, I am a little stuck and I need some answers. Can't go in there. I've always been fascinated by these little trolleys. Sir, you can order from the dining carriage if you're hungry. Just browsing. He looks busy. Okay, what else we got? It's a very generous likeness of Lady Untervald. There's not as many wrinkles as the real deal. Mm. Yeah, so that's his quarters. I don't remember leaving my door open. Oh. There, that should do it. Hello? <gasps> oh, Mr. Ackerman, I presume. I was just breaking and entering. On the contrary, I've been sent by our mutual benefactor, Lady Untervald. Lady Untervald, of course. If you've come about the sink, it was like that when I got here. <laughs> ho, ho, there's no need to be humble, Mr. Ackerman. Tis I, Herman Merman. <laughs> Acclaimed novelist, detective extraordinaire. Uh... Oh, surely you've read the stories of my cases. I'm not a big reader of fiction. Sorry. Ah, well, there's a letter for you on the dresser. And the suit? Lady Untervald believes a change of attire is in order. I'll give you some privacy. A 
Until we meet again, Mr. Ackerman. Mm. What an unusual encounter. I suppose I should read Lady Unterwald's letter. All right, let's do that now. I wonder what Lady Unterwald has in store for me this time. Dear Arthur, please report to me at your earliest convenience. I have further amendments to make to my estate before the big announcement tonight. As you know, it's my desire for every passenger aboard the Royce Express to not only enjoy themselves, but to part with a tale worth telling. While the flashy suit provided can be seen as a symbolic gesture of excitement and adventure, it's also a very literal one. Get out of those drab clothes and have yourself a good time. That's an order. Yours sincerely, Lady Unterwald. So? I need to meet with Lady Unterwald in her quarters. Okay, what should we put on the suit first? Look out, world. Arthur A. Ackerman has some intense lawyering to do. Yeah, what else have we got? Incredibly fluffy slippers. Oh, what's better than comfy slippers, a tall glass of milk, and an even taller stack of paperwork. <laughs> Stare at the quietly dripping sink. I don't think this is getting fixed anytime soon. Cool mint flavored mouthwash. Advisory, contains pure ethanol. Ingredients, <laughs> ethanol, 29.9%. 30% ethanol. Eucalyptol, menthol, methyl salicylate, paloxamer 407, thymol. Take a long, hard look in the mirror. Looking snazzy. <laughs> I like these. There's another element of humor just having these uh, little sort of editorials on, on the stuff we're looking at. This baby can hold up to 1,500 case files. 1,550 if I only pack two pairs of socks. <laughs> Take the hanger. What else we got? We've got a typewriter. One of my only stipulations for traveling long distances. You've got to have access to a trusty typewriter. Got the disc lamp. Provides the perfect light level for reading legislation. <laughs> hey, if you're not squinting, you're having too much fun. <laughs> Lady Unterwald's eyes follow me around the room. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. It's a stack of files regarding Lady Unterwald's estate. Each one needs checking over before receiving that sweet stamp of approval. I've got all the classics. The art of law, letters of the law, even coleslaw. <laughs> Although that one's just a collection of recipes. I'll let maintenance handle the blockage. A portrait of Lady Unterwald in every room. That's the Royce Express guarantee. Okay. Ah, all reliable. It's got me through many a jam. All right, I think it's probably time to look for Lady Unterwald. So, is this her? Do we know which room she's in? It's a wax seal from the Unterwald estate. It's a letter from Lady Unterval. Yeah, it doesn't tell us which room to go to, does it? So, um, inspect room number? Does he know which room she's in? It's room 304. Right, okay. How do we find out where she is? This way for kitchen carriage, kitchen pantry, service carriages. We just knock. Hello? Hmm. Right, so this is us, isn't it? So, should we just politely knock on all the doors? Hello? I guess nobody's there. Hello? 
Looks like nobody's home. Tentatively not. Anyone in? They must have left. Hello? I guess nobody's home. All right, well, I'm going to assume that she's not towards the uh, rear of the train. Um, these guys look like... Oh, yeah, twins. The name's Arthur Ackerman. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Stop butting in, Hagen. He was talking to me. No, he was clearly talking to me, Gunther. Well, I guess I was talking to both of you. Both of us? At once? Well, what is it? Uh, yes, this one. Do you know where I can find Lady Unterwald? She's just up ahead. Keep moving through the carriages, and you'll reach her eventually. Thanks. Are you both waiting for something? We're waiting to be seated, because someone forgot to make a dinner reservation. I thought you were going to do it. And don't even think about cutting in line, Arthur. I have low blood sugar. Don't worry. I already ate. Hey, aren't you the Goodrin twins? That's us. Of course. You're Lady Unterwald's nephews. Auntie Unterwald put us in charge of the railway infrastructure. Tunnels and bridges, to be precise. Although one of those is clearly more important than the other. Indeed. Which do you prefer, Arthur? I'm sorry? What's more important? Tunnels or bridges? <laughs> What's your position on viaducts? Well, those are bridge-like structures. I think that makes you a fellow bridge buff. No, that hardly counts. They're separate things. Don't try to complicate things, Arthur. Sorry. You know, it's just so hard to pick a favorite. Oh, come now. You have to answer. All right. Uh... Bridges. I often work around my problems. Ah, so you're a fellow bridge buff. Ugh, of course you'd side with him. You spent half the infrastructure budget on those stupid tunnels, Gunther. And yet, they're still better than your bridges to nowhere, Hagen. Looking forward to Lady Unterwald's speech? Oh, yes. I believe Auntie Unterwald is to announce her successor. Mother says she'll surely keep the estate in the family. And who better to take over the reins than her most talented nephew? I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I should probably go. Bye. Bye. Please wait to be seated. Hmm. I guess it's more of a suggestion. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Arthur Ackerman, at your service. Suzanne Goldschmidt. Can I help you, Arthur? Uh, yes. What brings you aboard the Royce Express? Oh, I'm with the band. You're in a band? You're looking at the lead singer in Balboa Swing. <laughs> Whoa! What about yourself? I'm Lady Unterwald's estate attorney. Ah, so you're a paper pusher. It has its moments. Sometimes, I get to use the rubber stamp. <laughs> I've been instructed to have a good time. <laughs> and you think I'm that kind of girl? Uh, no, I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Relax, I'm just messing with you. They probably just wanted you to loosen up a bit. Any tips for having some fun around here? There are some simple pleasures in life we can all follow. Eat, drink, <laughs> sleep, fuck... Okay, I think <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Uh, there's no need to be such a square, Arthur. I take no issue with the square. Straight angles, all sides equal. 
perfectly reliable for a shape. <laughs> I guess I prefer to talk with people a little more rounded. I have to go. There's an old lady waiting for me. Really? Well, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> Hello? The name's Danola, kid. But most people call me Don or Donnie. You get my gist? That's a nice suit. So what's your deal? You're some sort of tycoon or something? <laughs> well, not really. Uh, you see, there's this old lady who told me to put it on, and I... Let me stop you there. I don't think I want to know more. Besides, you're killing my vibe with that sweet patootie over there, you dig? <laughs> hey, while you're here, you could do me a little favor. You take this note and give it to that dame behind me, will ya? Why is it what dripping? is it? It's a proposal of sorts, requesting we both make tracks to my suite. You get my drift? I don't like the sound of that. Why is it so damp? I soaked it in perfume. <laughs> you don't know squat about wooing a dame, do you? Gross. I don't think we're going to enable him. Let's just uh, hang on to it for now. Okay, they were deep in conversation. We'll leave them to it. Our patron? Hey there. The name's Ron. I'm Arthur Ackerman. Can I help you, Arthur? Do you know where I can find Lady Unterwald? Who's that? <laughs> Lady Unterwald? Heiress to the Voldbon Empire? Uh huh. She walks around with a cane. She's really old and eccentric. Doesn't ring a bell. So, you hadn't anywhere exciting? Hmm. Just the bottom of this glass for now. And what's that you're drinking? It's a mimosa. A bottomless mimosa, if you must know. A bottomless mimosa? Mm-hmm. The bartender and I have a mutual understanding. I drink them, and he keeps them coming. What kind of work are you in, Ron? I'm an accountant. I'm in accounting. Wow, talk about a dream job. I've always wanted to perform account analysis. I don't really want to talk about accounting. I should be going. Mm-hmm. Are these lemons free? Um, do you actually want the lemons? Hmm, I might do. I'll just take one. What's this? It's a recorker. It reseals open bottles. Oh. Can I borrow it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Thanks! I'm getting into like the kleptomaniac that uh, these games make you turn into. Ladder hemstitch? Miter corners? 100% white linen? Whew, these are some high-end cocktail napkins. You should expect nothing less on the Royce Express. I take one. They're filled with nondescript types of brown liquid. I'm not sure who'd drink these willingly. They're an acquired taste. Okay, let's move on. Let's go meet Lady Unterwald. Oh, are you nearly ready? I'm not getting any younger, dear. Alas, you cannot rush perfection. My apologies. Am I interrupting? Not at all, Arthur. I'll be with you shortly. Pierre should take butter... Appearance. I capture every detail in the frame, madame, exactly as I see it. Well, I do wish you'd take some creative liberties, dear. We don't want anyone thinking I've got this many wrinkles. As you wish. 
We can attempt another portrait during my speech, if you like. <laughs> Arthur, I've just signed another amendment to my will. It's by the window. Of course. I'll keep it safe in the briefcase for now. You'll have to accept my apologies for all the cloak and dagger theatrics. I must confess, I'm a little nervous about the speech tonight. Ma'am? It's going to ruffle some feathers. But do you think any of them are cut out to take over the reins? Bickering sycophants, the lot of them. They're just waiting for me to kick the bucket, you know. Oh, it makes my blood boil just thinking about it. Would you be a dear and open the window? It's getting quite hot in here. I need some air. Okay. <laughs> I did wonder about that. <laughs> there go all the amendments to her will. Ah, that's better. I feel myself again. You might just be the most useful person here, Arthur. It's good to know I can rely on you. Now it's time to gather the family. This old lady's got a speech to make. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I should have upgraded to the anti-gust model. How could I have been so irresponsible? The drawer is stuck. If I wedge something in the gap, I might be able to pry it open. Maybe this? That doesn't need... I need to slide some... All right. What about... Oh. What about the coat hanger? It's too thick to slide between the gap, but I bet a wire hanger would work. That doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? I didn't know Lady Unterwald played an instrument. I've never been painted before. It all happened so fast. <laughs> Let's hope all these coats are made from faux fur. There's a lot of guides and self-help books here. It's the Model 3 Whisper Note with patented quiet tap technology. <laughs> There's a lot of bouquets here. I'm starting to think I should have brought a gift. The card was signed from a Mr. Jean Yu. A secret admirer, perhaps? <laughs> These petals smell quite fragrant. Uh, so I, what's this? Whew, just a glance at that fiery plant is enough to make my eyes water. I don't know why he would want to get in the drawer. I don't think I currently have anything that would work. That's not going to. You can have a look at what it says. Reluctantly inspect love It'll note. It'll cost a fortune to get the smell of cheap perfume out of this jacket. Yeah, I don't think I currently have anything that would help. Um, so let's join the speech. The will! It's caught on the window! I might still have time to grab it. Arthur, stop your dilly-dallying! Coming, Lady Unterwald! All right, chop chop. Let's begin, shall we? This is where we came in. <laughs> Are you 
sure you haven't just misplaced your room key, sir? Misplaced? Must I remind you of who I am? No, sir. You've been very clear. Tis I, Herman Merman! <laughs> Surely you've read the stories of my cases. Herman Merman and the Murmuring German. <laughs> Herman Merman and the Squirming German. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Not a big reader. <laughs> well, not even Herman Merman and the Sermon of Vermin? <laughs> no, sir. Good heavens. <laughs> my point but being, fun making I those. don't misplace things. I solve cases. That's excellent news, sir. I'm sure you'll have no problem with the case of the missing room keys. Well, uh... Yes! <laughs> You're quite right. I smell a rat, and I'm going to sniff them out if my name isn't Herman Mermaid! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> thank you for gathering here. There is a killer among us, but I assure you they've made a grave mistake. They couldn't have accounted for the presence of a world-renowned detective. There's a detective aboard this train. <laughs> Indeed there is. Well, where are they? Tis I, Herman Merman, <laughs> detective extraordinaire. And you have experience in solving murder cases, Mr. Merman? I, I need not bore you with the details. Let's get straight down to business, shall we? Behold! Good heavens! <sighs> Lady Unterwald's final moments were captured by the renowned speed painter, Pierre Bross. It's clear that nobody approached Lady I mean, Unterwald brush. directly. Peter Brush. That means the attack must have been made from a distance. Mr. Ackerman, you were safekeeping Lady Unterwald's last will and testament. That's right. I had to oversee some last-minute amendments to the will. Are you suggesting this amended will could reveal a motive, Mr. Merman? Indeed. I believe it to be the smoking gun that will unravel this entire mystery. Bravo, Herman Merman. Bravo! Hand me the will, Arthur. Mm -hmm. We should be able to wrap this up in no time at all. Oh. <laughs> Wait. You don't have the will. That was your only job. I hope you weren't counting on it for your big reveal. Well, I... I... Herman Merman? Are you all right? He's gone quite pale. I may be hard of hearing, but it sounds like our detective is out of ideas. Uh-oh. Is that the sound of another tunnel? No! Th that's when the killer strikes! Help! Somebody get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> well then, what do we do now? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, that was fun. The late Lady Unterwald. I need to find out who killed Lady Unterwald. Or I could be the next one to vanish. I'll need to talk to the other passengers. Maybe they saw something. Lady Unterwald's quarters could hold some clues. Uh, but I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, obviously, it's a very narrative-heavy game, so I don't want to spoil the story too much um, prior to playing it on the channel, which I, I think I will, because I thought this was great. Uh, it's got a great sense of humor. The voice acting is on par. Um, I, I think the, the pixel graphics, although, you know, they're, they're fairly... Um, low res as I said but I, I think you know they, they 
it works well. I think the animations are brilliant. It really sort of supports the comedy of it. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments because, um, I, as I said, I thought this was great. And, uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, as I hope you did, if you could hit that thumbs up button. And if you're watching this and not yet, subscribe to the channel. If you could also do that, that would be amazing. Um, but in the meantime, I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dad Game for other games, other playthroughs, and other Steam Next Fest demos. Got some more to come. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.